dear students today let us take up the first lecture on plant hormones to start with today we will study about the introduction biochemistry and mode of action of auxins let us start with the introduction Timmen in 1948 first used the term phytohormones for plant hormones and defined them as an organic compound produced naturally in higher plants controlling growth or other physiological functions at a site remote from its place of production and active in minute amounts. Further, Johannes van Overwijk in 1950 defined plant hormones as organic compounds which regulate plant physiological process regardless of whether these compounds are naturally occurring and or synthetic, stimulating and or inhibitory local activators or substances which ache at a distance from the place where they are formed. Thus, plant hormones, also known as plant growth substances, are chemicals which occur naturally within plant tissues, that is endogenously, and they have a regulatory role in growth and development of plants, while the term plant growth regulators is commonly used for synthetic compounds with similar physiological activities to plant growth substances as they can also modify plant growth by some means, example polyamines. Plant hormones may be divided into five general groups. The first group is the auxins. It includes the naturally occurring indole acetic acid and other synthetic compounds like 2,4-D or 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid. The second group are the gibberellins, including stereotype-like compounds comprising over 40 different structures. The third group are the cytokinins. Cytokinins are represented by adenosine compounds with N6 substituted. The fourth group is abscisic acid. Abscisic acid is represented by a single substance, abscisic acid, which is also derived from isoprenoid units like the gibberellins. And the fifth group is ethylene. Ethylene is gaseous in nature and is the simplest plant hormone. Now, let us study about auxins. Let us start with the introduction of auxins. Auxins were the first group of plant hormones to be discovered and the term auxin derived from the Greek word auxin meaning to grow or to increase was introduced by Kogel and Hagen Smith in 1931 for the group of plant hormones which play a role in cell enlargement or the growth of the suits. Further, Thiemann in 1948 defined auxins as organic substances which promote irreversible increase in growth along the longitudinal axis when applied in low concentrations to suits of the plants. Auxins are low molecular weight organic compounds containing an indole or an aromatic ring. They are crystalline and readily soluble in organic solvents like ethanol, methanol, acetone, diethyl ether, and dimethyl sulfoxide or DMSO, but only slightly soluble in water. They are the most extensively studied group of plant hormones and include a class of hormones that promote cell enlargement or cell elongation through a process involving extension of the cell wall. Let us now see the biochemistry of auxins. Auxins were first discovered by Kogel and Hagen Smith in 1931 from human urine as a result of application of avena test to 
a wide variety of substances and the first isolated compound was named as oxine A. Three years later, Gogol and his associates further isolated two more compounds with oxine activity, which were named as oxine B and heterooxine. Let us now see oxine A. Oxine A is also called oxinotriolic acid. It is a weak acid derived from cyclopentene. It is soluble in water, alcohol, ether, and chloroform, and is stable in acid solutions but decomposes in alkaline solutions, that is, alkali levile. It occurs at the apical meristematic regions, including birds and young leaves. These compounds occur both in the free state as well as bound to plasma membrane proteins. The next is oxine B or oxinolonic acid. It is also a weak acid derivative of cyclopentene. It is present in corn germ oil, other vegetable oils, malt and in the fungus rhizopus. Like oxine A, it is also soluble in water, alcohol, ether, and chloroform, but is both acid labile and alkali labile. The next is heterooxine or indole 3-acetic acid, shortly known as IAE. It is a monobasic acid with a simple structure and it occurs universally in plants. It is also present in some microorganisms including certain bacteria, yeast and fungi like rhizopus. IAA is inhibitory in higher concentrations. It is resistant to alkalis but destroyed by acids and undergoes rapid decomposition on heating. Let us now see natural auxins. Besides the above mentioned ones, Many naturally occurring indole derivative auxins which show similar effect on growth like auxins but in milder degree have been identified, isolated and purified. Some of them are mentioned below. The first one is indole 3-butyric acid or IBA in short. IBA is a naturally occurring auxin which is less active than IAA. The second one is indole acetonitrile or IAN. IAN is a nitrile derivative of IAA. It is a neutral substance and obtained in crystalline form from many plant materials and is believed to be an inactive form which becomes active when converted to IAA during alkali hydrolysis of IAN. It promotes growth of only those plant organs like avena coleoptile, bean seeds, tomato ovary, etc., which contain the enzyme indole acetonitrilase and are unreactive to tissues like pea roots which cannot convert IAN to IAA due to the absence of indole acetonitrilase. IAN acts both as an auxin precursor and an activator or booster of IAA responses. IAN is also inhibitory in higher concentrations like IAA. The next is indole 3 acetaldehyde or IAC. It is an aldehyde derivative of IAA and occurs naturally as an auxin precursor which can be converted into IAA. The next is ethyl indole acetate. It is the ethyl ester derivative of IAA and has been isolated from many plant tissues and it occurs as an auxin precursor which can be converted into IAA. Let us now learn about synthetic auxins. A number of other chemical compounds have also been synthesized which also show 
physiological effects similar to auxin and are called as synthetic auxins. Some commonly known synthetic auxins are indole 3 propionic acid, indole 3 pyruvic acid, 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid or 2,4-D, phenoxyacetic acid, 2-methyl 4-chlorophenoxyacetic acid or methoxone in short, beta naphthoxyacetic acid, alpha naphthalin acetic acid or NAA in short, beta naphthalin acetic acid, anthracin acetic acid and 2-methoxy-3,6-dichlorobenzoic acid or dicamba. In high doses, auxin stimulates the production of excess ethylene which causes leaves to fall known as abscission and inhibit elongation growth, even killing the plant in certain cases. Therefore, some synthetic auxins such as 2,4-D and 2,4-5-trichlorophenoxyacetic acid or 2,4-5-T have been used as herbicides to control weeds. While alpha naphthalene acetic acid or NAA and indole 3-butyric acid are also commonly used to stimulate root growth in cuttings of plants or to prevent fruit drop in orchards. Let us now learn about the physiological effects of auxin. Auxin stimulates cell growth and elongation. The second is auxin responds to environmental stimuli and is responsible for phototropism, zeotropism, hydrotropism and other developmental changes in the plant body. This stimuli causes uneven distribution of auxin in the plant tissues resulting in uneven tissue growth which further determines the form and shape of plant body, direction and strength of growth of plant organs and the interaction of organs. The third effect is auxin induces the formation and organization of vascular tissues consisting of phloem and xylem and it also helps in regenerating vascular tissues in wounded plant tissues. The fourth physiological effect of auxins is auxins promote the growth of both pre-existing roots as well as adventitious root formation. Next, auxin promotes shoot apical dominance thereby inhibiting the growth of the axillary buds. Auxin suppresses the growth in axillary buds by maintaining high concentration of auxin in axillary buds which stimulates ethylene synthesis and ethylene inhibits the growth in these buds. The next effect is auxin also delays fruit senescence and promotes fruit growth and development. Exogenous application of auxin in fruit with unfertilized seeds results in parthenocarpy or fruit growth without seed formation. Next, let us now learn about the mode of action of auxins. The main physiological effect of auxin is that it causes cell growth and elongation. Auxin particularly indole acetic acid, increases cell elongation. Cell elongation involves increase in size as well as area of the cell wall. The effect of auxin on cell wall extension may result from increased cell wall extensibility caused by regulation of the activity of enzymes which catalyze cell wall loosening by auxin that further leads to breaking of various cross linkages between the wall polysaccharide chain microfibrils. The effect of auxin on cell elongation is believed to be caused by the action of auxin on cell wall associated enzymes, hydrogen ion pump, 
regulation of genetic material and its action on membranes. Thus, the mode of action of oxygen on cell elongation may be discussed as follows. First, action of oxygen on cell wall associated enzymes. Oxygen stimulates the induction of cellulase, polygalactoruronase, glucan synthetase and other hydrolases required for enhancement of elongation. Secondly, action of oxygen on hydrogen ion pump. Oxygen induced elongation has been found to be similar to acid induced elongation in many ways and it is believed that oxygen stimulates proton pumps causing secretions of protons or hydrogen ions externally that causes cell wall loosening and extension. Thirdly, action of oxygen on regulation of genetic material. The effect of oxygen on genetic material includes the stimulation or inhibition of the expression of certain sets of genes or by means independent of gene expression. Oxygen commonly activates the transcription of four different families of early genes including the genes for S transferases, oxygen homeostasis proteins like GH3, SAUR genes and the genes for AUX or IAA repressors. The next is action on membranes. Another hypothesis explaining the mode of oxygen action is that oxygen rapidly interacts with some carrier sites located in the plasma membrane and regulate the export of growth active materials across the plasma membrane into the cell wall space. The action of oxygen on plasma membrane may also involve receptor like oxygen binding proteins. Now let us see the conclusion. As we have seen, plant growth is regulated by several mechanisms including five classes of plant hormones which are auxin, cytokinins, gibberellins, abscisic acid and ethylene. Among the plant hormones, auxins were the first group of hormones to be discovered and they control many physiological processes in plants including cell elongation, root growth and development, apical dominance, response to environmental stimuli, etc. and play an important role in governing the overall shape of the plant body. These hormones control plant growth and development by affecting cell division, elongation and differentiation in plants. Thank you.